Hey kids, good evening and welcome to WOW. We're going to have a fun time this evening, sing some songs, tell some jokes. Miss Carrie's going to have a lesson for us, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start out with a joke here. Why are spiders so smart? Why are spiders so smart? Well, it's because they can find everything on the web. <laughs> okay. All right, let me give you the brain teaser for this evening, okay? I'll tell it to you now, and then we'll give you the answer at the very end, and hopefully uh, you'll be able to figure it out. Here's the brain teaser tonight. What has one head, one foot, and four legs? What has one head, one foot, and four legs? Now you think about that, and we'll give you the answer at the end. All right, let's have everybody stand up here and get a little exercise. We're going to do Father Abraham. Here we go. Father Abraham had many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm. Father Abraham had many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm. Father Abraham had many kids. Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot. Father Abraham, and many kids, and many kids had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham, and many kids. Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head, Father Abraham, and many kids, and many kids, pet Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head, turn around, Father Abraham, and many kids, and many kids, pet Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head, turn around, sit down. All right, Father Abraham. Okay, okay. Here's another joke for you. What do you call two octopuses that look the same? Octopuses? Octopi? I think octopi is the plural. But what do you call two octopuses, octopi, that look the same? Well, the answer is identical. <laughs> identical. <laughs> Hell, I have tentacles, get it? <laughs> All right, okay, here's one. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. <laughs> All right, let's sing that song in, right, out, right, up, right, down, right. We'll start slow, and then we'll speed it up. I'm in, right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Here we go. I'm in, right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in, right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. When Jesus Christ came in, He cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in, right, up, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. When Jesus Christ came in, He cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. When Jesus Christ came in, He cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. 
I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. When Jesus Christ came in, He cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. When Jesus Christ came in, He cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right up, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Jesus Christ has been to your heart. I'll tell you what, that makes you one happy camper. Amen. All right, here's another joke for you here. What is the most patriotic sport? What is the most patriotic sport? Well, the most patriotic sport is flag football. Flag football. All right. Here's one. I remember this from back when I was a kid. I always thought this one was kind of funny. Why did the farmer win an award. Why did the farmer win an award? Well, it's because he was outstanding in his field. He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> okay, let's do that song, Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. Now I've got the joy of the Lord. Here we go. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. Now I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. He, 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 he saved me. Now I've got the joy of the Lord. Ho, 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 Hosanna. Ha, ha, hallelujah. us happy. All right, here's another joke for you. What do you call 26 letters that go for a swim? What do you call 26 letters that go for a swim? Alphawetical. Alphawetical. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get to that brain teaser there. And the question was, what has one head, one foot, and four legs. What has one head, one foot, and four legs? The answer is a bed. You have the foot of the bed, the head of the bed, and the bed has four legs. So that is the answer. It is a bed. All right. Well, had a good time here with you and hope you had a good time too. Miss Carrie's going to give us a lesson here now. So in the meantime, you all take care and remember the secret that it's a great, big, beautiful world out there. And if you treat everyone with love and kindness, then you'll know the meaning of true happiness in your life. Take care and God bless, kids. Bye-bye. Hello, my babies, and welcome to WOW. Miss Carrie's going to talk to you today about sin. Do you remember what Pastor Dave taught us sin was? Anything that hurts God's heart. Anything that we do that we know is wrong that hurts God's heart. Now, have you ever dropped anything on your toe and it like really hurt a lot? I'm sure you have. Like if I dropped this rock on my toe, do you think it would hurt? Yeah. I'm not going to try it and see, but I'm pretty sure that if I dropped this on my toe, it would hurt. Now, here's another rock. Can you see it? It's teeny tiny. Now, if I drop that on my toe, do you think I would feel it? Probably not, because it's so small, I don't even think I would feel it hit me. But, if this little tiny pebble got in my shoe, and I started to walk around on it, do you think I would notice it then? Probably. It would probably start to bother me, right? And I'd have to sit down and take my shoe off and shake my shoe and, until this little guy came out. Well. Sin's a lot like that. Some people think that small sins aren't that big a deal. Like they'll, they'll tell a little fib and they'll say, well, it was just a little white lie, so it's not really hurting anything. But that's not the case. No sin is small enough to be okay. None. Here's what 1 John chapter 5, 17 says about all that. 
all wrongdoing is sin. It doesn't matter if it's a big sin, like this big rock, or a small sin. And it's very important that we are careful to avoid the little sins because they add up and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So here's another example. Some people will take pencils or paper clips from work and think it's okay because it's small. It's little things. But even if it's just a pencil, if it doesn't belong to you and you take it, that's stealing. So remember, no sin is small enough for it to be okay. Little sins matter as much as the big ones do. Okay, And we always want to try to do what's right. And, it, and if you listen really closely to that small voice in your head and in your heart, God will direct you in the right way because you'll get that yucky feeling and be like, well, maybe I shouldn't do this or maybe I shouldn't say this. And that's God trying to direct you to do the right thing. Okay, so listen and pay attention. Let's have a little prayer, okay? Father in heaven, we know that your words says that all wrongdoing is sin and we want to please you. So we ask that you help us to remember that no sin is small enough to be okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you and I hope you have a wonderful week.